I'm Lauren Gooch with an HPN News update brought to you by Homepage Extras. Hunters, this message is for you. In the first episode of The Hunt, Russ Manny teaches how crucial scent control is during the hunting process by showing the necessary steps in clothing, hygiene, and preparation. Nine students graduated from Mansfield University's nationally certified emergency medical technician training course on January 29th. The emergency medical technician course prepares students to provide pre-hospital assessment and care for patients of all ages with a variety of medical conditions and traumatic injuries. For more information, read the article linked in the caption. Bring a sled and a friend and come out for a morning of family sledding fun at His Thousand Hills this Saturday from 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Take a break by their fire pit with a cup of hot cocoa and listen to the story of God's great love for you. There is no admission price, although donations are appreciated. If you have questions, email the address on the screen. Tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., the Church of the New Covenant will be having a drive through fresh food pickup with fresh produce, dairy, eggs, and meat. There are no income requirements. For more information, call 570-662-3311 or email the address on the screen. The Wellsboro Food Pantry will open on Monday, February 8th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. in a drive-by format located at 36 Main Street in Wellsboro. Today's weather will continue to be sunny with highs in the mid-30s and lows in the lower teens. For HPN News, I'm Lauren Gooch. My special guest today is Cheryl Edgecombe. Cheryl, welcome. I'm so excited to have an opportunity uh, to talk with you today about your history in Tioga County and all that you've done to contribute to our community. Gordon Morrison was the assistant postmaster general at the time, and this was his baby. He wanted to teach children with worldwide stamps, and that was right up my alley. I started collecting stamps in fifth grade with my stepfather, so I always had a passion for it. When I became a postmaster, it just fed that <laughs> passion. Um, so we started uh, Ben Franklin clubs all around the area, and we started several, and we became basically known through our stamp clubs at first.